Welcome to this crash course in the Italian wine region of Calabria. You're going to learn exactly what makes Calabria a unique wine producing region, what types of Calabria wines are out there, and where you should begin your journey in tasting these wines. I'm Tony Margiata. I'm a wine importer and author of Hidden Gems of Italy. My life's mission is to look for world-class artisanal wines handcrafted in small batches in Italy, many of which have been overlooked. My family's from a small village in the Molise region of Southern Italy, and I've been traveling to Italy over 20 years, immersing myself in Italian food, wine, and culture. So where is Calabria? Well, Calabria is located at the toe of the boot, as you can see in this picture. Its coastline touches the Tyrrhenian Sea to the west, and the Ionian Sea to the east. And it's notice how it's particularly close to Sicily. So while um, the entire country of Italy is a peninsula, because there's three bodies of water on the entire peninsula of Italy, there's all, Calabria is also its own little peninsula, and it has three bodies of water surrounding it as well. I just mentioned the Tyrrhenian Sea on the west, Ionian Sea to the east, but this little body of water between Sicily and Calabria uh, is called the Strait of Messina. And that's, it's only about two miles wide, but that's a third body of water. So Calabria is a peninsula. Uh, fascinating region, Calabria. Um, Calabria was the first region to be called Italy. It was called that by the Greeks when they got there. Very interesting. They, they didn't say Italy, they said Italia. The modern name Italy derives from Italia, which was first used as a name for the southern part of modern Calabria. So over time, the Greeks started to use Italia or Italy for the rest of the southern part of Italy, the Italian peninsula, and eventually the northern part as well. But Italy started in Calabria, according to the Greeks. <laughs> um, the Greeks arrived in Calabria about 3,500 years ago, and they called it Enotria. There you go, they gave it another name. Enotria means land of wine. Some vineyards in Calabria have origins dating back to the time of the ancient Greeks today. They still exist. And even ancient Greek dialects are spoken in some villages throughout the region. While Calabria has a massive coastline to the sea, internally, what's interesting, Calabria is extremely mountainous, as you can see in the picture here. I believe mountains and hills make up over 90% of the region. This represents challenges and opportunities for wine production. So just like any other region, I want you to think about Calabria wines in terms of the native grapes that they grow there and also the subregions or appellations. Here's a list of the native Calabria grapes. From the whites, we have Greco Bianco, which is also found in Basilicata in massive numbers, which makes sense because Basilicata is attached to Calabria, which is quite unique to the region. It has Malvasia, which is found all over Italy and is also aromatic, just like any other region. Malvasia is a very aromatic wine. And then there's Montonico Bianco. Montonico is also fairly unique to Calabria. Uh, from the reds, you have Gallioppo, Magliocco, and then Greco Nero. Now, Montonico, uh, back to the whites real quick, is found in several of the IGT and DOC wines as a blending grape. And that's pretty much uh, the case with all of the varietals of Calabria in particular. You will find um, some monovarietals you're more likely to find a monovarietal of Greco Bianco than in any of the others. But typically, Calabria, I would say, has mm, most of their wines are probably blends, um, which, which kind of produces some challenges uh, for the wine region. Same thing with the reds. However, I'm, I'm going to show you in a second in the Appalachians that there you do find a little bit more monovarietal wines on the red side when it comes to uh, Calabrese wines. And of course, um, you know, when you can seek out the small artisanal wineries in this region, they're gonna be producing, when they're good, when they know what they're doing, they're gonna produce wines that are much more interesting, authentic, 
than the mass producers in the area. So look for wines that are producing less than 50,000 bottles a year. We rather avoid wines produced in the millions of bottles because at that point, authenticity and originality is lost because of mass industrial practices. Now, I also want to mention real quick that Calabria also has, like many southern Italian regions, they have Sangiovese and Ayanico, which most of the south and um, you know, Sangiovese you find all over Italy from the north. Um, but also they have Nerello Mascalese, which is shared with Sicily. Sicily is a little bit more known for the varietal with its Mount Etna appellation. And also Nocera, which is found in decent amounts in Calabria, but that's also found in Sicily. So it's sort of a shared varietal. Um, here's the wine map of Calabria. As you can see, um, there are no DOCGs as of the time of this recording. There could be someday in the future. I'm sure they will at some point, but notice even their DOC list is pretty small. So it won't take too, too long for you to explore uh, the world of Calabria wines. These are the three appellations I'd recommend you try. There's Chiro Rosso DOC. Got a little bit of a spelling error right here. I'll fix that real quick. Rosso DOC, that is made with the Gallopo grape that I mentioned earlier. It's typically 100%, uh, but you will find some blends as well. I think they're allowed up to, um, well, they need a minimum of, a mat, what, what is it? It has to be 85% minimum of Gallopo. Um, they can have up to 15% blending grapes, but I think the most interesting ones are 100% Gallopo. And then Chiro Bianco um, is typically, um, its dominant grape is typically the Greco grape, which I mentioned earlier. And then if you can find this other varietal right here, Maglioco. Maglioco is a red varietal from Calabria, very, very different from uh, Gallopo, and it's typically coming from high mountainous vineyards. It's a very, very interesting wine, and I think it has a bright future. Um, that comes from the Terre di Cosenza DOC. What's the first white wine you should try from Calabria? Try, look for a Ciro Bianco DOC. Should be fairly easy to find. And then the first red, find the Ciro Rosso DOC. Okay. So that's it for Calabria. Make sure you subscribe to Gladiator Wine TV so you don't miss out on new videos about artisanal Italian wine and more. And remember, great wines are not made in great numbers.